Hello everyone and welcome back to City Life. Hope everyone's doing really well. We're going to do a bit more on Shannon's story today. It's going to be a bit of a crossover between Shannon and a new character I'm bringing in and Sarah and stuff like that. So I hope you guys really enjoy this. Um, in a previous few episodes, we shot Tamale. Um, he had Eber files in his car. I haven't done much on it. Um, so I've given them to a friend of mine who works for the FIB. Um, we're going to get him to run the stuff today and yeah, see what see what happens and stuff like that so let's get into it so i've got to ring agent jack um so let's call him hello special agent jack Finn. hey jack it's shannon oh hey shannon hey can you talk uh Yes, I can now. Okay. Um, I'm just on the roof at Mission Road. Um, the stuff that I gave you uh, for your birthday, um, you know what I'm talking about. Can you go ahead and just run that stuff for me and let me know what you can find? Uh, yep, I'll go run that right now. I'll, uh, I'll let you know in a minute. All right, yeah, just call me back. All right, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. All right, see ya. Bye. All right, so Agent Finn is going to run that stuff. Nope, we need to unlock. There we go. Surprisingly, Air One wasn't on the roof. I'm shook. All right, so we'll go and wait in my office. We did it on the roof to be a little bit more covert and stuff like that, I guess. Oh, phone call. Shannon. Uh, hey, it's uh, it's me, Jack. Um, so I ran the information, the thing you gave me for my birthday, and uh, uh, I think we we need to talk in person. Um, do you know the car park down at two one six, kind of near Mission Row PD? Yep. Yeah, I know the place. Yep. Uh, let's meet up there, and I'll uh, I'll let you know the further details. All right, I'll be there shortly. All right, bye. All right, two one six of the parking structure. We're meet, we're meeting Jack, so he obviously found something to do with the photos that were found in Tamali's car. So we'll go ahead and walk that way and see what he has for us. Snow is starting to melt away, so that probably won't be here for much longer with a bit of luck. So yeah, let's get down to the parking structure. Um, I'm guessing he'll be in a black unmarked car would be my guess sedan probably oh He's in a white Explorer. Okay, it's completely wrong So Shannon used to work for the agency as well, so she does have friends with the FIB so this kind of makes sense as well Hey Jack Hey Shannon. Okay, so I ran this uh, person's face facial recognition. No one's up here. Did come up with a flag? No, I double okay. checked the perimeter before he came. Um, he came. It came back to a hit to a James Turner. Seems to be a district attorney out of Liberty City. Um, known to travel here for work. Um. There's not much on him. That he has a wife and I believe two older kids. Um, he, he's a bit shady, if you ask me. Some of the cases he's worked on, just a little, uh, you know. Okay, yeah, he's a bit shady anyway. If he's in photos with Amalia hired Hitman. Yeah. Yep, I agree. Um, the right. files are all here, right? Right, right there if you want to take them with you. Yeah, I'll just take that one. Just keep a copy in case anything happens to you or I. Yeah, and uh, just remember, this didn't happen. Likewise, if you see Sarah, nothing of this happened as well. Yep, perfect. Alright. Um, Sarah's actually in Liberty City right now, so... I might just ring her shortly and make sure she's definitely okay. Oh, yeah, definitely, I would. Some Someone who, uh... With the 
record, like James Turner, I'd be careful. Is did was there any flags that came up when you ran his name? You know, some people have flags on their name, if, and like they'll know if someone runs it. Um, I believe he did. So it, it's told him that someone's fl looked him up. Yes, but I don't think it would be traced back to anyone here or me. Right. Okay. And it's not the first time someone's looked him up, so it, we should be good. All right. Although you never know, so be careful. Yeah. Okay. Um, you be careful as well. And it was nice seeing you again. Yeah. Thanks. Stay safe. All right. So James Turner, District Attorney in Liberty City. We've got a whole file on him now, so... That's interesting. So, we'll go ahead and back and make our way back to Mission Row. We'll probably grab a computer. We'll quickly run him, because apparently he does visit over here as well. Um, from time to time, comes over to San Andreas, so... See what his record is kind of like for over here as well. And see what we can learn, so... Uh, we'll talk to you all once we get back to Mission Row. All right, we're back at Shannon's office. This is kind of a command office, actually. There's a few people that share it. Um, so this is the files that uh, Agent Finn just gave us. So James Turner. Oh, God, I can't even spell. So that's what District Attorney James Turner looks like. He's got a residence at... 851 Hangman have uh, valid license, so hmm. Shannon will dig into his life a bit more and we'll investigate that a bit further, I guess. Alright, we're heading out, we're going home, so I'm gonna go ahead and ring Sarah and just let her know to be careful because we ran that guy's name. Hey Sarah, it's me. Oh hey. Um, are you still in Liberty City? Yep, I'm just waiting for my planes. Taking so long. Alright, um, I did that thing with that thing. Um, you know what I'm talking about with the photos? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a great present, so, um, we'll talk about it more when we get home. Just, just be very, very careful, okay? Oh, yeah, of course, you stay safe too. Alright, I will do. Just just be careful. Love you, bye. Alright, bye. She never says love you. It's too funny. Alright, we're gonna text. Shannon also has a friend coming to San Andreas, so we're gonna go in. And he's coming on the same plane as Sarah. She doesn't know. Um, he's a cop. So she's gonna text him and be like, you know, keep an eye. Me, text, Nick. Alright, so we've just text Nick. Um, told her, you know, told him, sorry, just to keep an eye on Sarah and all that. He's going to bring her home as well, make sure she's definitely safe and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, Shannon's going to head home. Got a hiccup. She's had a very busy day at work, so she's going to head home. Nick will bring Sarah home, hopefully, and they can discuss what's going to happen with um, Mr. Turner. So, let's head home. Sorry, I'm not a fan of flying. It's alright, man. I'm not a fan either. I, I enjoy the takeoff and it's just landing. I'm not a fan at all. Not a, not a fan of being on the plane at all in general. <sighs> yeah, that's for sure. It's good to touch down, though. Sorry for that rough landing. That would be the good old asphalt of uh, the good old airstrip. Unfortunately, it hasn't been worked very well lately. But we have arrived at our destination at LSIA. Oh god. Thanks for getting oh, god, us here safely, snow Island, here. I guess. Oof. See, unlike the last pilot, at least no one got killed. Okay. Yeah, it was about a few months ago. 
I wish the oh, snow was gone. God. I hate the snow as well. Why am I moving to this place? Are you from around here, sir? Is it always snowing? Oh, I'm not actually from around here. I'm visiting people as well. Oh, I just move. Well, I'm moving here today. I don't like the snow, though. I hate sitting next to clowns. <laughs> I can't help you up there. Well, it was nice meeting you, sir. Nice meeting you as well. Ah, <sighs> uh, ma'am, excuse me. Uh, yeah. Are you Sarah Henry? Uh, yeah, do I know you? Yes, Where Lieutenant you? Collins, um, I'm here to escort you to your house. Um, I How don't I... even know you. How do I even know you're a cop? Sister Shannon Henry, she's a lieutenant with the LSPD. She used to work for the FIB. Is that enough for you? So you have access to Google? Right. I, I'm, I'm not asking you. She texted me. She told me to take you home, so let's go and get in a taxi and we'll take you home. Oh my god. My badge is here. Do you want to see the text message as well? Would that make you feel more comfortable? No, I believe you. But in saying that, I could have, you know, I could have sent myself a text message um, pretending that I was Shannon and, you know, and then I could be kidnapping you, I guess, and taking you to a secret black site location where I'm going to interrogate you and stuff like that. Wow. Wow. Uh, so grab your luggage oh, and those cheap ass glasses. Excuse me? Yeah, you heard me. Grab your luggage, ma'am, and please move over to the taxi that's over here. My luggage is being delivered to my Okay, home, well, okay? let's go. So I'm is mine. Poor. So is mine. Ugh. Ma'am, I'm just following orders. I was told to come down here and make sure you get home safely. Mm hmm. And I'm just moving to this awful city that's got snow everywhere and I don't like it. That we agree on. Yes. I thought it'd be gone by the time I got here. Mm hmm. Oh, hello. Hi, sir. Oh, God. Hello. Oh, God. Where would you like to go? Ah, uh, to her house. Um, yes. Yeah, six, oh, and where is her two. house? <laughs> six, nine, two. Okay, one minute. I just put it into my GPS. Uh, sir, are you okay? Because your hands are very shaky. Are you nervous or something? Yeah, well, oh, no, sir. So it, it is very cold. I, I put on heater too in one minute once the engine is started. One minute. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, postal six nine two is in. Are you, are you sure? All right, seat belts, please. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, yes, sir. Make sure your seat belt is on in pack there, okay? Okay, yeah, mine's on, sir. So demanding! Oh my god. Who me or the taxi driver? You. Ma'am, I have a job and it's to protect you, so yes, um, I, I, I am, am a strong, independent woman, okay? I don't oh, need your help. We just, yep, okay. Um, well, that's good to hear, ma'am, that you're a strong, independent woman, um, and I'm really happy for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you whisper something, ma'am? Yeah, I said I couldn't, I can't believe my sister wouldn't tell me this, like, why wouldn't she tell me? I don't know, I was boarding the plane, um, and she texted me and said to look out for her sister that was coming on a plane from Liberty City. <sighs> and she also said to bring you home. And unfortunately, I owe her a favour, so I had to say yes. Well, you're lucky you're good looking, or you wouldn't be in this taxi with me. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Well, ma'am, you're not too bad looking yourself. Yeah, I know. I know, there it is. Um, so, taxi driver, what's your name, sir? Oh, my name is Abhishek, sir. What about you? Uh, my name is Nick. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too, Nick. Are you, are you from here, or are you, are you, you know, coming here new? Uh, I've been, um, 
transferred from Liberty City to here. This is... I literally found a place on the internet, I've rented it, and I'm now moving here. This is like my first time here, and it's all snowy and yuck and ugh. Oh, what do you do, sir? Uh, I am a police officer with the tactical response unit. So he says. Oh, very nice, very nice. How long have you lived here, sir? Oh, uh, ab about a year and a half now, you know, just doing jobs every now and then. Uh, oh, this, yeah. this is not my permanent job, but uh, my friend, uh, he, he, this is his taxi and he, he was off sick, so I am I am working for him today. So you do have a legitimate taxi card and stuff though, right? Oh, yes, sir, but uh, this is not my permanent job. I, I mostly do this temporarily. Ah, uh, got you, got you. This car's so slow, oh my god. Oh, traffic is very bad, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. I need to reapply my lipstick. Um, so, Miss Henry, what do you do for work? Uh, that's for me to know, okay? Really? I thought we were I making don't know progress here. I thought we were gonna become good friends, you know? Well, I don't know. You could still be kidnapping me for all I know. Yeah, I'm kidnapping you in the back of this taxi, and Mr. Abishak here is... He works for the CIA, and he's very great at interrogating people. Well, you never know. Mm. Oh, if I told you, I'd have to kill you, you know, ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> you sure you're not a swimsuit model? Excuse me? Mm, nothing. Um, yeah, I'm not a swimsuit model, ma'am. Sorry, I was just texting somebody. Mm-hmm. Who are you texting? Your sister. So you say? Yes, she just said she's very happy to hear that we are nearly at your residence. And she said that she was on her way home from uh, the police station. Perfect. Um, you said you were getting your personal belongings and stuff, um, brought up by somebody else to the house? Yes, of course. Right. Whereabouts is your house? Is it along here somewhere or up the road a bit further? Uh, right here. Right here. Oh. Oh. Wow, this is nice. Yeah. There you go. Um, thank you. That'd be uh, forty-five dollars. I would pay you, um, sir, but um, I unfortunately I don't have any money on me, so um, <sighs> Miss Henry will pay, I guess. <laughs> like always. Well, here's a hundred-dollar bill. Thanks for the lift. I go have a ball. Okay, let me get you your chin. Oh no, it's okay. Keep it. Oh, thank you. That's a yeah, no very problem. nice tip. Very nice tip. Thank you. Thank you, man. Yeah. That's just for having to deal with oh. that guy. Miss Henry, we really need to get you inside oh, the thank house. Ah, uh, I know, I know. Goodbye. Bye. Let me just unlock the door. Alright, your sister said she should be home in about 10 minutes. Perfect. Um, do you need anything else before I leave, ma'am? Mm, no, I'm good. I'm independent. Oh, okay. Well, I think you should at least let me take you to dinner or something, because, you know, you paid for the taxi ride. I should at least pay for dinner sometime, you know? Hmm. Fine, but it has to be somewhere nice. Somewhere nice, okay. Well, I'm going to need your number, I guess, Miss Henry. Oh. Okay. Here's my phone, just put your number in. Okay.
Thank you. All right, done. Here you go. Thank you. It was nice meeting you, ma'am. Be safe. Mm hmm. Me too. Bye. Alright guys, so as you saw a little bit, this is a police officer, he's a lieutenant, uh, his main special, um, he's a specialist in the LSPD as a tactical response um, police officer, so, you know, he does tactical things, I guess, um, he's a tactical police officer. Um, so yeah, he's just moved here recently, this is obviously his first day in the city, and the taxi left and I need to get to my apartment. So that's awkward, so we're going to walk, I guess. Nick here lives down in the Vespucci area in an apartment building. So that's quite a decent walk, but you know, he's been on a plane ride for a long time and he feels like walking, I guess, so he's gonna go ahead and walk there. That is gonna do it for this one. Hope you guys really, you know, really enjoyed the episode and um, yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Um, also remember if you want to apply and be a member of CLRP I'll leave the description in the link a link in the description below. There we go um, You know, we're looking for civs more LEO developers and stuff like that So if you want to be a part of the community or the server or something then go ahead and apply and I hope to see you all in the future So yeah, thanks for hanging out guys, and I'll see you in the next one